Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Today I'm going to unbox the Ledger Nano X hardware wallet I just received a couple days ago from ledger.com to show you what you get when you order yours. To keep things simple, I'll likely follow up with one or two more videos to cover the actual setup of the wallet, as well as the benefits and potential downsides of hardware wallets in separate videos in the future as well. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. And besides that, since the wallet I'm unboxing in this video has been provided to me by Ledger for the purpose of this video, this video is sponsored by Ledger. With that out of the way, let's talk about Ledger itself before we take a quick look at the currently two available hardware wallets from Ledger and as mentioned, unbox the Ledger Nano X. I'm fairly certain that most of you already know Ledger and maybe already thought about getting a hardware wallet in the past. For those among you that haven't heard about Ledger or hardware wallets for that matter, let's quickly cover the basics. Ledger itself launched in 2014 and grew from back then just eight people with backgrounds in embedded security and cryptocurrencies to now more than 300 people across the globe. At least for me personally, Ledger is the number one brand I think of when people talk about hardware wallets and if we can trust the latest poll I ran on Twitter, I'm not alone with that opinion. Currently Ledger offers two different hardware wallets, the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano X. The key difference between those two is that the Nano S Plus does not have a battery and has to be plugged into your computer, while the Ledger Nano X supports Bluetooth and can therefore work with the Ledger Live app on your mobile phone without connecting the hardware wallet physically to your device. Now the big question however is why would you need or want to use a hardware wallet in the first place if you still have to or at least definitely should back up your wallet's mnemonic phrase or private key somewhere else? The answer to that is quite simple, if you're just relying on software software wallets on your phone or computer, there's always the risk that someday somebody is able to either compromise the wallet app or in another way extract the wallet information from your device and you might then wake up to see your wallet is empty. By using a hardware wallet and assuming that you're also not storing your private key or mnemonic phrase on a device with an active internet connection, but for example written down somewhere on an old fashioned piece of paper, you remove that risk because even if your phone or laptop gets compromised in some way, your wallets are safe because the mnemonic phrase or private key are stored on your hardware wallet and not on the affected phone or laptop. That said, I'll likely follow up with a separate video that will talk more about the benefits and potential downsides of hardware wallets in the future, but for the purpose of this video that's already more than enough. Now the last thing before we actually get to unbox the Ledger Nano X is to quickly take a look at the current wallets Ledger has to offer, the Ledger Nano S Plus and the one we are going to unbox shortly, the Ledger Nano X. Both wallets look quite similar and as mentioned before the core difference is the Bluetooth capability and integrated battery of the Ledger Ledger Nano X that by the way comes with 8 hours standby battery life and besides that both hardware wallets support up to 100 apps and more than 5500 different cryptocurrencies and are in every other aspect besides the dimensions, weight and obviously the price identical. Talking about the price, at the time of recording this video the Ledger Nano S Plus comes at around 79 euros while the extra Bluetooth capability and integrated battery of the Ledger Nano X come at around 149 euro. It's up to you individually to decide if that additional comfort to not have to plug in your hardware wallet all the time is worth the extra cost, but I'm personally very grateful that Ledger provided me with the Ledger Nano X for this video. Anyways, now that we know all of that, let's quickly take a look at what's in the box when you order your Ledger Nano X hardware wallet. Since the wallet is still wrapped in plastic, the first thing I'll have to do is use the cutter to to basically make a small slice and be able to remove the plastic wrapper around the package. We can by the way see that it's actually quite a small box so nothing too big and next step would be to simply push out or remove the outer cover. That on the back also includes details about the Ledger Nano X and there we have another box basically we can just lift open and there we go. Here we have our Ledger Nano X that we can now remove from here and you can see that it basically just is a thumb drive that you can spin open with a display here that you 
can't notice right now because it's not turned on and a button here plus the connecting port for the USB type C connection to your phone or computer. Now putting that aside, if we look below to check if there's anything else, we can find a booklet. Let's try to get that out. Okay, let's do it this way. Oh, sorry, too much. A booklet and the USB type C to regular USB wire. Now in that booklet here, we have basically the tutorial, getting started guide and recovery sheet. So where you can write down your mnemonic phrase or seed phrases to basically then restore the wallet if you ever need to. Followed by at the back, stickers from Ledger so you can proudly show that you're the owner of a Ledger wallet by placing them for example on your laptop or any other device. That's pretty much it. That's all that's in the box. I'm quickly going to put that back. And that's it. As mentioned, I'll likely upload a few more videos that will cover the setup and other aspects of hardware wallets in the future. So if you haven't already, now is the time to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. If you have any other questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our Discord community and discuss Ledger and other cryptocurrency related topics with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.